Sotheby's is offering this season Frank Stella, Ifafa, number one. It's from 1964. This belongs to a group of uh, the, the Notches V picture, which are, exist only nine of them. In 1964, Frank Stella is really at the forefront of what's happening in New York. At that time, the king of New York is the William de Kooning, and Jackson Pollock, and all those great Abex pictures. And then you've got Andy Warhol, and Jasper Jones, and the pop movement. Frank Stella brings something which is completely new and, and fresh and radical. It's the birth of minimalism. A play on shapes and speed and design, and on color, these different types of copper and bronzes, which are very industrial in a way, but also beautiful. He introduced a feeling which is also very much for me New York-like. I mean, all those lines of the buildings, the urban feeling, the very slickness of it, those shapes and the way those lines are, carries you and gives you the, the, the sense of speed and walk and movement in general. We've seen in Europe other artists trying to paint representing speed and abstraction. If you think of futurism, or if you think of Vasarely, for example, in France, which was also using complete abstract way of painting. But I think what Frank managed to execute and succeed to be completely abstract, but at the same time, we've got something which is completely minimalist and something which is very warm and beautiful. The picture was painted in 1964, bought in 1964, and it has been in the very same collection since. I think the first thing you see when you stand in front of a picture like this one is that it is immensely successful. There's no hesitation there, and I think this is always the, the test for a great work of art, is that immediately in front of it, there's nothing you would add or subtract. Like, you are looking exactly at actually what you want to see. That's rare. That's very rare.